Hey Leo, how you guys doing? This is Serendipity Tarot. I hope this video finds you all well. I'm gonna do your general love reading for the second half of April, April 15th through April 30th, okay? I'm gonna keep this video nice and short, concise, and straight to the point. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the Spellcaster's Tarot for the main spread. And I'm going to use the Mermaid of the Year for clarification, okay? So this is going to turn into you and your partner. We're going to see what's going on for the second half of April. Will you guys stand? Okay. I also have some Oracle cards that I'm going to get to at the very end of the reading. So please stay to the very end. We have some advice from Tarot and Spirit. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if this resonates. Again, this is a general reading. It will not resonate for all, okay? So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Ascending, you and your partner, what you guys are going through at this time period. Keep in mind that time is fluid, so it really could play out at any time. It could occur in the second half of April, or it could take place over the next several weeks or in the recent past, okay? So the current energy between you and your partner, we do have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so... It looks like there's something that may have come to an end in this connection, okay? You guys may not be committed to each other at this point. The challenge is the tower in reverse, okay? So resisting further destruction here. The recent past energy we have is the queen of wands. This could be you, Leo. A lot of fire. That's you. <laughs> On your mind, Leo, we do have the eight of cups in reverse, okay? So maybe you're thinking about giving this person another chance, okay, if they come in with their heart on their sleeve. The foundation, we have the two of swords, so it looks like a decision needs to be made, okay? You guys are a little bit at a crossroads. What's take place in the near future? It looks like we have the fool card, okay? Someone taking a leap of faith on this connection, okay? Now, your energy, Leo, is the chariot. Wow, that's beautiful. You could be dealing with the cancer, but you're moving forward, Either it's with or without this person, you will find out. And your partner, wow, beautiful. They're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is the real thing. They're bringing some kind of solidarity and stability to this relationship, it looks like. Let's finish up with the outcome is temperance, healing, beautiful. Wow, Leo. I'm excited. I'm excited for your reading. Let's get started. Oh, and I do want to see the bottom of the deck. We do have is the King of Cups, okay? So let's leave that over here. So yeah, it looks like there's someone in your energy. You could be dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but he has a lot of love for you. He's very nurturing, um, very compassionate, empathetic. You know, he, he is aware. Um, he knows... He's very in tune to how you feel, okay? Um, I'm really feeling that there's someone who wants to express their emotions to you, wants to express this love, okay, if, they're, if they have not been, all right? So we do have the current energy of the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So when a Ten of Pentacles comes in reverse, it looks like there's there may have been some kind of breakup um, or divorce if you were previously married to this person. Something came to an end here. Certainly you guys can just have been dating and then the connection just broke off. You guys just went separate ways. You guys just didn't see growth together, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there was some kind of break here in a commitment. You guys are just not talking, not on the same page anymore. But something definitely came to an, a halt here, okay? Um, let me find out more about this Ten of Pentacles. For Leo and their partner, what they're currently going through right now. Someone can just have felt like there was just no more growth here. They, you know, they couldn't see themselves with this person in the long run. Like they just were not able to, yeah, to just be committed to the idea of being with this person anymore. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Knight of Swords. Okay, so it looks like someone may have come in very quickly, maybe with some kind of truth here, honest. Um, maybe they spoke something that was honest. Um, the Knight of Swords is typically a little impulsive. They kind of come in and come right out, um, but they are truthful. They, they, they typically do speak. Um, they provide some kind of clarity. They do provide some kind of truth, okay? Um, and it maybe had to do with how you guys see each other in some kind of commitment here. Oop, okay, what do we have? 
We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so it looks like whatever happened, someone may have went behind your back or betrayed you. Okay, you may have felt this person tricked you in some way. Um, there's some kind of something that may have happened recently that um, made you feel either sabotaged or someone manipulated you or just didn't have your best interest, okay? And so I do feel like this person with the Knight of Swords wants to come in and reveal the truth to you or provide some clarity on the situation, on what happened. But with the Seven of Swords, it's not a good energy to be in with dealing with someone. There's a lot of swords here. You certainly could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it looks like that may have led to the downfall. That may have led to this breakup or um, someone no longer wanting a commitment, okay? We got the Seven of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It looks like whatever happened here with the Seven of Swords, some kind of betrayal, it looks like it caused a lot of confusion. Maybe you no longer um, saw this person as your person, your partner, your love. Um, it brought a lot of confusion into the relationship, into the connection. Things were no longer clear on where you stood with this person. You felt like maybe they went behind your back, did something that, you know, you no longer can trust them, okay? But I do feel like with the Knight of Swords, generally requires energy, they do want to come in and kind of give you some clarity or... Um, shed the light here on um what happened here with the seven of swords that made you feel like you know this person does not have your best interest but yeah i also feel like you you may have felt this person had a lot of options in love with the seven of cups that maybe they were exploring maybe that they had their hands full and getting involved in other people's um situations or just a lot of complication confusion here okay they may have been living in a fantasy world typically the seven of cups is like you know they're not really into reality they're like very much focused on materialistic stuff like um how does she look you know does she have nice hair does she have a nice body or vice versa okay and i think that's kind of what happened here and so there was maybe a tower moment or something came crashing down something was not built on a solid structure here and so maybe the way this person treated you or the way this person viewed you or didn't respect you or hold you in the highest regard, the universe felt that this, this connection needed to um, feel some kind of destruction or this connection needed to come to a, a halt, okay? Um, and so something came crashing down in this relationship and now may have been or is working to be rebuilt up, okay? But certainly here with the Tower card, this is telling me that something was not stable, something was not um, either, was just, which is built on a very weak structure, okay? And so it had to come crashing down. But I do feel like since the Tower is in reverse, this person does not want this ending, okay? They're very much resisting this ending and they want to come in very quickly and give you a message here or communicate something here with you. You know, there's something that, that they're that's up in their head that they want to get out. They want to clear, um, be clear on. Now, the recent past energy is the Queen of Wands, okay? She is my favorite queen of the deck. She is very magnetic. She is, um, you know, everyone loves her. When she walks in a room, everyone's tension draws to her. She is fiery. She is smart. She's very intelligent. She makes things happen. She's very action-oriented, okay? You certainly could be this Queen of Wands energy, Leo, but... Um, Regardless, this is something, this is either how the person views you, you're very attractive, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of desirable energy here, a lot of passion. Um, this person definitely looks at you and like you're the most beautiful or handsome person, okay? Because the Queen of Wands can be um, female or masculine, okay? Why, why do we have this Queen of Wands here for the recent past? Queen of Wands, we got the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So even though they found you really desirable and everything, you know, they do very much have this um, strong magnetic attraction to you. It looks like they were withholding their love with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is unrequited love, okay? So they may not have been coming to you revealing how they truly felt. They may not, they may have walked away from this connection and just denied you this love, okay? They did not want to come together in some kind of union here, okay? They may have just walked away from this connection altogether, okay? 
We also had the Seven of Pentacles. So I felt like, yeah, there was just them not wanting to build or them um, not feeling like the time was right, okay? Because with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a person who's assessing their time, seeing if this is a worth an investment, and it's all about bringing stability, okay? So they didn't feel like the time was right to build on this connection. It just, you know, they didn't see that this was something they wanted to do in that particular time. So they may have decided to walk away, um, you know, remove their love from the situation. And so, you know, they kind of left you here and probably just wondering like, what happened? You know, did I deserve this? I thought, you know, I thought you loved me. I thought I was your everything. You know, we had so much passion and desire and you know, magnetism, it was just so great. Like, what happened? You just, you know, you had so much passion for me, and all of a sudden you don't, like, what's good? You know? So we have the Eight of Cups, what's on your mind in reverse, Leo. So you're wondering if this person is going to come back, you know? With the Eight of Cups, it's telling me that someone definitely walked away and, you know, left this connection, okay? I do feel like with it in reverse cancer pisces scorpio energy you are you are trying to figure out well is this person gonna come back you know are they happy wherever they went what's going on you're trying to figure out you know with the moon here this is all about maybe secrets and stuff you're trying to find out is this person you know um really happy are they being fulfilled here with the cups you, you know you're all up you know it's a lot of emotions and feelings i think you still have for this person either that or you're thinking should i go to them should i come back because if you left you're thinking about now coming back to this connection okay so let you know it depends on your situation if they walked away you're wondering if they're gonna come back or if you walked away you're now thinking well should i go back to this person should i not but regardless when i got the um to clarify we got the three of wands so i'm sorry the three of wands up right so I do feel like regardless, you are making plans. You're gonna you're gonna wait for your ships to come in. I do feel like you are um you know moving forward, power thinking, like wondering like what's gonna take place next. Like you're really looking forward to the next phase of your life. You know, the wands is about passion, excitement, creativity, enthusiasm. So you're anxiously awaiting your ships to come in. You're not gonna stay in this stagnant energy with this, you know, you're waiting for this person. You you are moving forward. Okay? Okay, now for at the foundation of the reading, we do have the two of swords. So with the swords, um, this is all about being in your head um, and, you know, making a decision. Okay, the two of swords, you could be um, you guys are definitely at a crossroads here. I do feel like your partner is trying to make a decision about this connection, like where um, where to go and where to move forward and what what route to take or how to get you back. Um, to clarify that we got the five of pentacles so yeah I do feel like this person feels a little bit like lack they feel like they're being left out in the cold they um they very much miss you I do feel like they they just feel like they either blocked maybe you block them on social media who knows but they definitely feel like there's a lot of distance from you and they do they do feel at a loss okay they feel like you know wow I, you know I had Leo you know she was um, so magnetic just you know perfect for me there was so much chemistry and passion there and our connection was real it was so great and fiery and then now they don't have you and they're like wow what did I lose you know so they're feeling five of Pentacles being left out in the cold um, or they could be suffering or feeling some kind of financial loss um, feeling financially insecure maybe they lost their job um, certainly you know in the climate the economic climate that we're in right now with this virus that certainly can be the case but regardless this person is a little is struggling somehow okay they feel that they don't have you they um, there's something in this connection that is making them feel like alone okay and they know they need to make a decision here. They're at a crossroads up in their head, and they know need, they need to make a decision. Um, and meanwhile, they're like, you know, seeing an energy of just being shut out, okay, or feeling shut out. But we do have the Fool, which is beautiful. So what is going to take place in the near future? We do have is the Fool. So this is about this connection, someone taking a leap of faith, someone taking a risk jumping in you know even if they don't they don't even know what they're gonna get into okay this is taking a leap of faith like this is like I'm wanting to just 
move forward um you know even if you're a little naive and not sure what you're going to go into right so let's let's get clarification on what this fool is about why do we have this fool for leo and their partner Ooh, okay we do have the sun and the hermit in reverse so yeah i do feel like there's someone who is very unhappy and they're feeling very um ex um, excluded from you um, feeling this strongly with your partner since they are in the five of pentacles energy with the sun in reverse very unhappy you could be dealing with the Leo and we do have the hermit in reverse um, okay so you could be dealing with the Virgo but whatever it is I feel like your partner they want to take this leap of faith they want to move things forward okay um, they're very much wanting to take um, a risk on this however I do feel like they are lacking some kind of clarity of how you would feel about this. They're very much in the energy of being unhappy, not not just not being in a happy place. I mean, they're in five of pentacles. They're shut out, feeling financially insecure, feeling a lack, feeling like they miss you, okay? And they're also in this hermit in reverse energy, okay? So unlike the hermit in the upright, you know, where this is like going within spiritual enlightenment, finding the answers, they're very much left in the dark. They don't, they're going... They're, they're they're being um they're kind of like in this energy of being alone and not being able to reach out to people um not reaching out to the family and friends for support and kind of just being stuck and uh, and just like depressed and by themselves okay so i feel like they're just not in a good place right now very unhappy we have the sun in reverse typically i don't even think the sun the sun is just an overall like positive card but since um and it really is no you know even in reverse it's not a bad card but i do feel like with the sun in reverse there's like darkness surrounding them right i do feel like there's just they they feel um just unsure of what would happen what's going to take place if they do take this leap of faith with the full card you know how will you respond to it you know whether if they walked away or you walked away so i don't feel like they're in a, a place of clarity there's a lack of enlightenment especially here with the hermit in reverse they're not getting the answers okay they're suffering in silence here okay now for your energy you are moving forward you have the chariot okay you could be dealing with the cancer but i do feel like you're taking charge of your life okay Okay. again I don't feel like you're being stuck you, you know you're waiting for your ships to come in you know but you're moving forward you're moving forward in your life and you're not letting something hold you back and especially regarding this connection where you may have felt unfulfilled or unhappy or this person did something that betrayed you okay I do feel like you are moving forward what is this chariot about for Leo what is this chariot about for Leo beautiful card I really love it Hold on. Let's get the chariot. Let's get a card on the chariot. What's going on with Leo's current energy? Ooh, let's just take that. Two cards. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're moving forward, even if it means not being with this person, King of Swords. Um, I feel like right now you're very distant from this person. Um, you, may be, you may look at them as being detached, a little bit cold, not showing how they feel or emotions and everything, okay? I do feel like... Um, yeah, like you, you may you may be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but regardless, right now you guys may not be communicating. Certainly we had the Knight of Swords of their their desire to come rush in and communicate, okay, about the Seven of Swords energy, whatever manipulation or trickery took place in the recent past. But yeah, you view them in your current energy, they're coming up as a, the King of Swords, okay? So you look at them as being a little cold um very logical maybe a little bit up in their heads um but not revealing to you some kind of truth or not revealing to you um even though they stand in the truth but they're not revealing to you their feelings and emotions okay they're not um they're not expressing this king of cups okay so you know what i am picking up with the king of swords here and the king of cups you certainly pick a dealing with another person okay um Leo, let me know who are you dealing with, okay? Because we do have the King of Cups and the King of Swords both here in the reading. So I do want to acknowledge that you could be, you could have moved on from this person and, and now dealing with someone who is a little bit more um, available to you, who expresses themselves and loves you unconditionally, okay? But yeah, I feel like you are looking, you're moving forward with the chariot, with, even if it means without this person. And then you do have some kind of healing here. With the Four of Swords, you have put something to rest, okay? And now you may be coming out of this 
this place where you know um, you had to really take a step back and reflect and you know rejuvenate yourself but I do feel like you had to um, you maybe had to just like take a step from a, a break from all this maybe it was really taxing on yourself and you felt like it was the best interest for you to just remove yourself from this connection at least for a little bit now with your partner here okay whether it's the king of swords or the king of cups it's this is an external um energy someone wants to come in with this ace of pentacles okay this ace of pentacles is nothing you want to play with okay this ain't just no ace of cups ace of ace of wands this is the ace of pentacles someone is bringing you some offer some commitment um being exclusive or whatever it is they want to take things to the next level they want to bring stability into your life this is something that is going to last um a long time okay they're thinking about their long-term future um they want some kind of solidarity in this relationship they look at you like a prize okay they want to win you okay i very much feel that someone whether it's this king of cups or king of swords wants to present you with this ace of pentacles so you guys are gonna have to let me know i'm really feeling that you could be dealing with someone with the um the air sign and you have a, a water sign who is trying to come and sweep you off your feet okay they're like you know what forget about this uh king of swords like come with me because i'm bringing you this ace of pentacles okay i'm bringing you some stability some security we're gonna we're gonna make it together we're gonna be a power couple okay like i'm really feeling this let me find out more about this ace of pentacles what is this ace of pentacles about it's beautiful leo i'm feeling this i'm about to own this reading Ooh, okay so we got the strength in reverse and we got the page of swords so yeah i'm feeling that maybe this could be your um this king of swords energy who is trying to maybe get in the way of this okay they could be trying to um come in with some kind of communication but the communication is very immature very abrupt okay it's not the kind of communication that you want to that you would want to entertain okay page of swords is just like they come in and then they come out a lot of communication trying to come through i think with this person that you're dealing with because they're not happy they're the, the sun is in reverse they want to have something started up with you with the full card but i don't feel like they're in a good energy right now they're not getting healing or, or support from other people with the hermit in reverse they're feeling left out in the cold with the five of pentacles so i do feel like they're trying to stop you in your tracks if you're trying to move on because you're waiting for your ships to come in they're trying to come in and probably stop you um um, there's also the strength in reverse you could be dealing with the leo but i do feel like they're losing strength they're not they're losing faith that you're going to now come back and want this beginning with them okay if they're trying to offer you this ace of pentacles i do feel like they're trying to um they're feeling like a little bit stuck or feeling like you're not going to be open to this beginning this you know this commitment whatever they're trying to offer you i feel like they sense in your energy that you've moved on okay that maybe you're taking a you're taking a leap of faith and moving on in your, with your life, okay? So certainly I feel that whoever this person is, they're unhappy and they want to maybe just try to run back and come into your life to stop you. Like, hey, don't you go anywhere, that kind of thing, energy, and communicate something to you. But it's not the best communication. It's not loving communication. And it wouldn't be because this person is a king of swords. They're very cold, very detached. They don't have, they don't show any emotions or feelings. They just make you know very cold decisions very quickly impulsively okay so that's what you're dealing with but i don't feel like they they have faith or hope that you know you're going to be able to come back to them but they do want to do whatever they want to know they did whatever they they could do to stop you okay but regardless you have something beautiful coming in with the ace of pentacles it could be again two different people um or one of one one of these two people who want to offer you something for the outcome which is just as beautiful we have temperance okay sagittarius energy we do have some healing here okay so maybe this connection um does was does re, um require a some healing okay on your end or maybe even your partner i do feel like you are working on healing you are um trying to move on and and take the you know leave whatever happened in the past in the past because maybe you know um whatever the seven of swords about there is something that that happened that you have to let go of okay to clarify we have the death in reverse so yeah there's someone coming back y'all okay there's someone who does not want you to heal and move and and, and leave them 
Um, there's someone who's trying to resurrect something here with the death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? But yeah, I feel like someone is not done here. I feel like your past is trying to haunt you or try to, um, yeah, stop you from moving on. I don't know what other way to say it. They are like trying to stop you in your track because they feel it in your energy, okay? So I'm going to get to romance, angels, cards. We have the first one, give your relationship a chance work on your partnership wow well i don't know leo that's gonna be up to you if you want to let this person come back into your life and open up your heart and give this a chance um we do have flirt as well so extend your light-hearted energy to others okay so if you have this king of cups come in maybe you gotta flirt a little bit make this other person jealous i don't know maybe that's something that will make things turn around and, and, you know, make this old person realize that you ain't, you know, you ain't nothing to play with. You are the queen of wands here, okay? You stand in your power and you make it known. We also have a card from the Keepers of Light. We have Saint Germain. Karma, releasing, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. So that is beautiful. So I do feel like there is something maybe karmic in this past relationship with this person that you are trying to release. Um, and I do feel like you are working on doing that and you will, you will accomplish that. But I do feel like once you leave all the drama, whatever negativity or happen with this, with this um, seven of swords, manipulation or mind games, I do feel like you're rising above it and and you are, um, there's a lesson here that you may have learned and now you're reinventing your own path, okay? Let's get one card from the Moonology deck and I'm going to leave you guys alone because that's a beautiful reading. You are moving on. I don't know what is going on, what's, what this Ace of Pentacles is about, who it's coming from, but you got a lot of good, abundance, beautiful energy coming in. You are very close to achieving your goal. Yes, Leo, that is for you, okay? Whether you are bringing, manifesting love, abundance in you to your life, you're going to, you're very close. You're almost there. You are almost there and that is confirming it right here. So thank you, Leo for this beautiful energy um this was a beautiful way to start my day thank you for sharing your energy i hope that this resonated with you all um i claim this reading okay i definitely have a little leo in my chart um but let me know if this resonated for you like comment subscribe and come back for another reading guys all right bye